Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta here, bringing you Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy VII. This game came out way back in 2006 for the PlayStation 2, and it's actually an action role playing third person shooter game. I'm covering this game on the channel because it's one of many Final Fantasies that, you know, despite me playing a lot of Final Fantasies, it's one that I just haven't played. Um, on the channel at least. I did play this game a long time ago, um, you know, before I even did YouTube. Um, and I remember it pretty well, um, some parts pretty vaguely I would say. But I mean, I still get to this day plenty of requests of, you know, covering Final Fantasy games that I just haven't done. Like this one, uh, Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings is another one. Um, there's a lot of requests I get for certain other games. Also Chocobo Tales is another one, and also Type-0 HD is another one. So there's plenty of games and I definitely, you know, want to cover them all eventually. There's just so many games and I've been playing a lot of newly released Switch titles because people also requested those. But here we go. Dirge of Cerberus Final Fantasy 7. It's actually a pretty good game in my opinion. I know that a lot of people weren't a fan of it, but the main reason for that is because it's very different than what you would expect a Final Fantasy game to be. So when Final Fantasy fans got this game, they're like, what the freaking hell, I didn't sign up for a shooter game. It's a different genre, so it's not going to be for everybody. If you like your typical Final Fantasy game, uh, and you are not a fan of shooters, whether first or third, you're probably not going to like this game that much. But if you actually like this and are here for the story and the lore of Final Fantasy VII, then you might actually like this game quite a bit. Anyway, um, I don't think there's actually too many things that I want to show off here and if I just go into like extra features there's you know event viewer, character viewer, sound gallery, that and then extra missions. I'm not going to be uh you know doing this kind of stuff of course I want to be I want to be playing the main game of course uh let's go ahead and do tutorial menu yeah we're not doing that we're doing game start so there's normal and hard refined comments will required for this yeah no we're not doing that for sure uh this one offers balanced gameplay difficulty appropriate for players with little action game experience we're doing normal, of course. Create, yes, we're creating. Okay, creating save data. Just waiting on that until it finishes doing that. But yeah, super excited about this game. Super excited to finally be able to cover it. It's not an overly long game, definitely not. At least not compared to, you know, the majority of, you know, the main series, the main Final Fantasy series, of course. Oh wait, did it? Oh, that was weird. Complete. No, 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 no. Okay, vibration, we're doing that off for sure. Sound output, that's fine. Subtitles, we'll actually put that to on. Speaker's name's on. Um, sight vertical, we're gonna keep this normal for now, but we can always change that later. Sight support, when such a semi-automatic, the sight will be drawn to close by targets. When set to automatic the sight will be drawn and fixed on okay I think semi-automatic is fine sure yeah that's fine all right let's do this
So... We meet again. Lucrezia. I'm the one who should apologize. Three weeks ago, our crew left for Midgar. However, the group's whereabouts still remain unknown. What really happened down there? Tonight, for the first time, we bring you the final transmission received before all contact was lost. For the past three years, this door has remained sealed. However, that seal's about to be broken. There are no records of this place located deep beneath the Shinra building, another of the company's secrets revealed recently. According to investigative reports, there is evidence that thousands of people were once transported here. If rumors of the Shinra company conducting human experiments are true, then this may be where those nefarious deeds were carried out. To bring you this exclusive footage, Channel 7 News has teamed up with volunteer organization... Oh, wait, I think I see something. Hey, Found you. All right, so we get right into the gameplay right away. I'm trying to remember how this actually. Okay, it's not too bad. You just simply aim up and down, so it's not inverted. I think that actually works out pretty fine. I would say. 
Okay, so you jump with X, got it. It's been a while since I've actually played this game. But, uh, yeah, so you move around, jump with X, circle actually does a melee attack, does like an actual combo there, which is pretty nice. Uh, right, or the R1 I should say, brings up this, and you can shoot again or press circle to go back. There's a potion. Potion obtained. Use items by accessing the item function located within the main menu. Items can also be selected using uh, left pad and activated using right pad. The control pad definitions listed above correspond to default settings. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so... I think I can, let's see, if I do... what? Uh, not that. Triangle. Go to item. And here I have potion, handgun bullets, rifle bullets, oh my god. Hmm. So we can do... How do you do this? Let's see. Set. Is that it? I think so. I think so. We're gonna grab onto this. I don't actually know if I did that right. Alright, here's a melee attack. We can do... I mean, this part's pretty simple, but there is a bit of a lock on there. Um, you can also... How do you do this? No, that's crouching. I thought there was a way to... I'm still learning the controls first. Handgun bullets, time 36. Okay, press R2 anytime to... Re oh, there we go. R2. R2 reloads your weapon. Awesome. It is actually pretty dark in here. I can barely see what's even going on. Oh my god. What I get here? 500 gil. Alright, that's, that's not bad. And now we'll... oh shoot. Yeah, so you also do uh, more damage if you actually build combos. Who the heck is... I thought there was somebody else over there now. Where am I? There. You can shoot explosives. Uh, but if you actually get combos and like, you know, um, do a lot of damage like pretty much back to back, uh, you can build up pretty sizable chains to then uh, keep doing more and more damage. And that's actually one of the main ways that you get to do a lot of damage in this game. Uh, I can barely see what is going on. It's so dark in here. Oh god. I'm actually not playing too well right now, but it's just a little bit of getting used to, you know, everything another potion. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, so it is set to the right. Okay. Got it. So there's that, and it's also going down. I'm gonna go this way. I see something over here. Let's take this. This is another potion. That's pretty good. Yeah, there is actually a limit on all these items. Like, I forgot how many you can get, but there's a, there's a specific limit of potions you can actually carry. Alright, well, a bunch of melee attacks. Got a hundred kill for that, and then... Yeah, there we go, see? So like, if you're ever running into the situation, you just use a potion, use it because you can then get the other one right away, which, you know, it's very useful, of course. A lot of the time, People like to play this game with just, uh, like, pressing the R1 button. So, you actually have it ready to shoot at any time. Find Reeve. Okay. Makes sense. I don't know if I can actually break these things. No, I don't think I can. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll keep going. Yeah, so you can play like this. Protect the civilians. Okay, I'm trying to see. Die, everyone. Can I get you all? Stupid enemies. Got you all. I should probably go back, though, and take a look at all this stuff here. That's another potion. I think I ended up missing some stuff here, yeah. Definitely some, some bullets. For sure. What is this one? That's another potion. I guess we'll take this then, and we will take that potion right there. So I also know that there's um, 
We haven't gotten the Phoenix down yet. There's Phoenix downs, and you can actually set one to like have it equipped um, automatically to, to, for it to use. Kind of like like the single player version of like Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, you know, stuff like that. Um, where you can just yeah, because like if you're playing a game where like you're alone, like one character, then that means there's no way that another character could revive, you know. Fire materia. Equip materia to a weapon by accessing the customized function located within the main menu. Press LT while aiming to activate it. So we go to customize. We can equip a materia in here. And there we go. Now we can actually shoot materia. Mako point discovered. Step on these glowing ears to absorb Mako energy. Mako energy is used to power materia equipped with weapons. Press L1 to activate the materia. Whoops. I didn't actually uh, need to press it right away. Well, shoot. Damn. Got you all. Oh, you too. Who's next? Come on. Come get some. Who wants to die next? You, you want to die next. Can I break these? Yes, I can. And we got some bullets from that. It's pretty sweet. A bunch of those things there. I don't think I can do much with these, though. Electromagnetic barricades are used by Deep Ground to hinder the progress of their enemies. Card keys carried by DG soldiers are required to uh, deactivate them. I have the card key by defeating... Wait, do I? No, I don't. I don't have the card key. What the freaking hell? Do you have it? Oh, shoot. We got a bunch of enemies coming. Coming my way. There we go. Got the card key. And there we go. Yeah, but see, like, playing like this is actually kind of nice, um, because the running speed almost feels the same. What the freaking hell? I can't shoot that. Man, somebody died there. There's a lot of, uh, wounded people here, for sure. Alright, let's just keep going. Let's make our way this way. And come out of nowhere. Limit Breaker! Activate Vincent's Limit Break and transform into the powerful Gallium Beast by using Limit Breaker. Vincent will return to his normal form after a set period of time or when the R1 and L buttons are pressed simultaneously. Sure. Can totally do that. Um, we're gonna do this here. So that right there gives me some uh, materia back for mana, whatever you want to call it. I don't think there's anything else over here. We will do that so we can grab this potion. And we're making our way over there. Wow, that's some uh, scary stuff right there. Gotta go save him. Where are they at? Are they over here? What? Okay, well, we can kill you. There we go. We got you. Are you, are you alive? Okay, you are alive. We gotta save you. It says push. What the hell? Did you see somebody over here? I can't actually do anything there. Oh, it's because I was at a weird angle, I guess. Maybe that's why. 
Okay, wait, did, did I... Did I do it? Okay, well there's that taken care of. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Here's another potion. And that's a phoenix now, okay, that's what I'm talking about. So, um, you can actually go here. Instantly restore, so you can use. And now you actually have it. There we go. Awesome, there's a potion. Another potion. What is that? Oh, you have these capsule things, so I haven't talked about these things. But, um, can I even make it there? If you actually shoot these things... They actually unlock, like, extra missions or whatever. I'm not pro I'm probably not going to be covering that. But they're hidden all over the game. Um, and, I mean, for one, I don't know where the hell they all are. I'm not definitely memorized all that stuff. Um, so... Yeah. Uh, let's see, we'll go this way. Hopefully it's the right way, let's see. Okay, we need a we need a card key over here. Where'd you go? You Alright, I got them all. Alright, we'll uh, keep going. Sniper scope. Equip this item by accessing the customized function located. When equipped, press R3 uh, to zoom in on targets lurking and okay. Sure, so we can go to customize, we can go here, sniper scope. That's cool. We can also wait so if we remove it. Well wait is up, okay, that's fine. Let's go to sniper scope. So we can press this. And there we go, we can actually shoot from far. Pretty nice, pretty nice. What's this way? More of this, it gives me more of that. Oh god! Blow that up, there we go. Any more? I wasn't actually sure there were more enemies there. Doesn't seem like it. Here's the card key, I needed this for sure. There's 500 gil. Okay, time to run back. I came in from... Oh my god. Honestly, by this point... I don't even know. I can't shoot the enemies over there. I have to go around. And this here is the place where we gotta go. Use the card key. Oh my god. Reloading. A little awkward there. Oh Jesus Christ. Phoenix down and handgun bullets. Yeah, so you can have a Phoenix down like, quote, equipped and also carry one, you know, in the items, but you can't carry more than one. And the items. So in total, you'll basically have two. You'll have one equip and then one in your item that's a reserve, which is pretty nice. Also take that. Sure. Long barrel. Equip this item by accessing the customized function. The long barrel increases the weapon's power as well as its range. So if we go here... Yeah, lower barrel. Average mid-sized barrel excels in short and medium range accuracy. So we switch it to this. Um... Wait, can we hang? Yeah, we can actually see here, so we can see. Weight is much more, though. Power goes up, speed goes down, and range also goes up. There we go. Yeah, they have the long barrel now, so that's pretty good. Handgun bullets and high potion. Alright. Open.
Alright, we got a boss against the dragonfly over here. Um, I know that eventually comes and aims at me, because... I mean, I could also just shoot it like this. Oh god, why did I do that? My bad. So if you can actually combo it... It's actually not bad. I mean, it's the first boss of the game, and all you're basically doing is, you know, doing some damage to it. Eventually, I think it gets into another phase or something. Here come some soldiers. Okay. Now, there are explosives on the floor, so it will actually be beneficial if you're trying to shoot the explosives to try to get them out of there, you know? Let's see if we can. I don't know if we'll, if we'll be able to. Uh, yeah, there's some right there. I don't see any more. That guy's running away. Did I get him? I may have gotten him. I don't know. Did we get the dragonfly? I think we got the dragonfly. Again, it's super easy. It's the first freaking boss. Okay, so we made it inside a building. We just have to kind of uh, walk through here. Short barrel. Okay. Wait, is that what we had? Oh, no, no, no. We had the normal barrel. Never mind. It is actually a different item. We're just watching while we shoot all these soldiers. Oh my god. Yeah, you can't actually harm them, unfortunately. Outfit, though. <laughs> it took me a while to decide which costume I'd put on for today. But enough of the small talk. 
Who are those soldiers that just left? I don't know. The large one called himself Azul. <laughs> Azul the Cerulean? Of the Sviets? Then that could only mean... Commissioner! We'll discuss this later. WRO troops have arrived and commenced rescue operations. We could use your help, Vincent. Reeve. Hmm? I don't know what you're up to, but I want absolutely no part of it. But you fought alongside us three years ago. We need your help once more. <laughs> Assist the WRO. All right, that's what we gotta do. Let's kill all these guys. Sure. There's also a bunch of barrels here. I don't know if we should actually be shooting them. We can probably use them as weapons for later, but I also don't want them to be used as weapons against me, you know? There are plenty of enemies here. My god. Should probably use a potion here. There's uh, also plenty of drops. I should probably get all this stuff. Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get all this stuff. Probably should. There's also a lot of uh, great ways to get experience here with all this, all these kills. Yeah, because you do actually get experience at the end of each level, and you'll actually see kind of shortly. There's that, so we can take another potion now. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing something else, but there's plenty of enemies here and I just keep shooting. What the heck was that? What was that symbol? I think there was something wrong with my game, the disc. Because you can see your... Well, I can look at the map. Yeah, I have to just make it over there. Apparently. Still though, it was, it was nice finding all these enemies here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you? Oh, shoot. These guys were actually kind of tearing me apart right now. Okay, I should probably um, do this and go. Okay, wait, hold on. Where's the freaking... It's saying this way. What's wrong? Oh, shoot, these are my friends. Okay. Are these going to give me anything good? Probably not. Well, sure, some stuff, but we're just going to go. Genesis organization. Speak with me if you require any assistance.
request supplies information to be directions to the church. Um, oh wow. Vital rations, spirit rations. The nutrients die and instantly restores a few HP. It says they're... They cost zero? Okay, that's interesting. I wasn't actually too aware of that, but... Um... You can just get a bunch of these, I, I guess. Wait, hold on, what did that say? Currently one out of five. Should I get these? I mean, sure, they're... whatever. Okay, we're gonna do that. was originally established three years ago after Meteor Fall. With Genova war hero Reeve Chuesti at its helm, our organization is dedicated to aiding the healing process of the planet, as well as protecting it from any who attempt further harm. Sir! Proceed to the East Church just past these buildings. Hurry, we will assist you in securing the area. Get supplies in here. Griffin. Griffin frame. This machine gun gun's give it a little rapid fire. That'll be interesting to probably use for later for sure. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I can't actually see who I'm even shooting. That's the thing, I mean, the, with the graphics and all, and especially because of the TV I'm playing on, it's kind of weird when it comes to playing older games with like graphics and stuff. And hard to explain too as to what I'm even talking about. Oh, I'm reloading. There we go. Got them all. Thank you, Mr. Valentine. Appreciate the backup. Alright, so I guess we gotta keep going that way. Oh yeah, so left actually brings up Cerberus Relief. Left brings up the map immediately. Uh, here's a... Do I have this? No, I don't. I, I gotta find this then. Okay. There's another one over there too. Might be over here. There it is. Okay. We got that one, so now we can just go here. Great. Where did I actually? Oh, right up there. That's it. Just died in one easy shot. Reloading. There we go. Is that it? You're shooting. Oh, right up there. I see. I also saw an item up here. Uh, we can possibly get this too. Oh, and some a refill. But I think we're already up there. Uh, Hangum bullets times 180. Okay. What the hell? Oh no, it's up. Yeah, it's up on the pack. My bad. But I can switch here between the items. We'll go... Yeah, we'll stay with potion.
Alright, we got a Dragonfly GL this time. I think there's like I think there's supposed to be like a turret in here or something. Possibly. Oh we we dam we damaged it. Oh there we go, there we go. Go. That's how you bring out the weak spot. You just gotta shoot repeatedly. Oh god. A little disastrous there. But it's not gonna be too bad. We got this, we got this. There we go. Go, 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 go. He's pretty much dead now, I think. We got him. Pretty easy stuff there. Good work, Vincent. The enemy is retreating. It seems they have finally begun their withdrawal from the cone. Good. However, we still require your assistance. Reports our edge is under attack. So that right there was the first level of the game. There's actually 12 levels in this game, just to you know get you a little bit of an idea about that. Um, okay, so you always get a bunch of um, experience. Okay, we did that. B as oh man, we only saved 16 to 25. What the heck? We got 42.50 gil. Calculating points. Experience earned in the previous stage can be exchanged for 10,300, so you can actually exchange the experience for guilt or you can add it to total. I recommend putting it to total, at least in the beginning, so you can actually upgrade your stats all the way through. Uh, we're at level 7 now with this. So that's not bad. We got some very nice stat upgrades for sure. And we can also get some uh, possibly better upgrades here because what you basically want to do and I'll just tell you right now um, design for neutralizing close, close combat and okay so when it comes to the upgrades you want barrels and you want the actual like either Cerberus or Griffin and stuff like that uh, what you should do is try to get upgrades all the way to uh, normal barrel 2 and Cerberus 3 
uh, modifications. But like, you actually have to, for example, um, if you buy, let's say, okay, and I'm just gonna keep it like that. I think we'll be fine, because, yeah, I thought there were actually other upgrades, but there's not. Okay, I think we're good. Um, yeah, sure, that's fine. Double U R O. They wouldn't last a day. <laughs> 